First, daylight slowly faded and skies darkened. Next came the little crescent shadows cast off by trees appearing before us. Then came the astonishment. There's really a palpable energy here. Thousands of sky gazers were dazzled by the ring of fire the annular solar eclipse brought us. It's a really good opportunity for us here. A lot of people really don't get this opportunity. I think I heard it was 88% coverage and other people in other parts of the world, other parts of the country, they don't get to see it as full as this. I think it's really important to take these opportunities and experience them. It held a solar eclipse watch party south of the tower just for the occasion and hundreds came out. Just a great moment to be together with one another and also to be connected to the power of nature and the power of the sun, which, you know, that's universal. So I think everyone anywhere in the world can see the power of that. Central Texas was a prime location to view the eclipse. And although here in Austin, we only got a partial solar eclipse from our vantage point, it was still a sight to be seen. The moon started its coverage of the sun here around 1030 and would be at its peak maximum around noon. For us, looking safely through solar eclipse glasses or viewers, it looked like a glowing arc in the sky that will not easily be forgotten. The last time I think I ever viewed it was maybe like middle school. And at that time they had like five glasses that they would like share with the class. So it was very much two seconds of a glimpse of the solar eclipse. So this is my first time actually seeing the whole entire event. If you miss this show in just less than six months, you'll get your chance again, only this time it'll be a total solar eclipse and Central Texas is expected to have a clear view. In Austin, Monique Lopez, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.